Okay guys, quick update with Bitcoin. So we got one hell of a pump in the previous video. I told you to get along around 41,500. I did not think we'd get up above 45K. However, I did say that this was your next target above to potentially short. We're at that point now. If you do get above this point, I'll show you the next upside target. So I'm gonna cover all of this. Guys, if you wanna get into lever trading, uh, Coincatch uh, is a great option if you're in the US, no KYC, and you do, not, you do not need a VPN in some states. Two other exchanges I use are Bigot and BingX. All those links to sign up are pinned in the first column description. This is a, a video I put up teaching you how to trade on Bigot to open a long, a short, a just stop loss, adjust your stop loss, trigger orders, all that. Then watch this video, I'll put a link up to it now. Remember, once you can trade on one, you can trade on them all. So uh, in the last video, guys, I told you I said go long around 41,500. There was a lot of support there. And said, if we pushed up, take note, I'm pointing to this target right here, around 45,760. I did not think we'd get above 45,000. We did, but this was the target to watch. That's why I'm saying this could be a point too short. Uh, this is the video before. So this was two videos back, and I was showing a possible pattern we could be in. Uh, we did did chop for, for this in this area. We came down, we found support, but take note where I'm pointing at. This line right here, saying that this could potentially be the new pattern we're in, and this would be your support. So if you'll take note, that's where we're at right now. So your point too long was 41,500. We are currently sitting right here at this resistance level that had, again, this line's been here way before price got to it. I'll show you that in a published chart. Now I will, I would, uh, I would like to point out that the uh, MACD and RSI does look like it has um, some upside, but that does not mean we cannot get rejected, come back down to a support level. I'll give you an export level below, but I think it is possible that this could be potentially Again, we'll know if we get above 45,800, we're headed much higher. I'll show you that target. But this could be the new pattern we're in. Um, if I'm a brush tool here. Again, it could be something like this. And this is what I was trying to point out in our previous video. Something like that. And then we're coming back down to test this ring. Uh, this is uh, the published chart. Just to show you guys, this is the same chart here, but on the two hour. This is published on October 29, 2023. I'm going to click play. This is that ring. I said this could be a potential top too short, but at any point you cross this ring to go long. Take note, this line right here becomes resistance. This blue line becomes support. And this line right here is where we're currently at as resistance. I hit play. You can see, right? We were in this pattern. We broke up from it. It became support, support, and we pushed up. And now we're at this point. So I'm not telling anyone to go short, but I'm saying if you wanted to open a short, this looks like an ideal point to open it. And again, this is that chart on the two hour. You see that line has been here way before price got to it. And it's no coincidence we hit this point and just happened to get rejected right at 40, uh, 45,800. So all I can tell you guys is if we do get rejected from this point and continue down, as I mentioned, it's very possible that this ring will be the next point too long. But once we cross it, that is the point to go short. Your next key support level below looks to be right around and again, there's quite a few uh, levels. I would say your next point you potentially scalp along is around, depends on how fast we drop, 44,600 down to 44,300. Uh, but if we do get below 44,600 and that becomes resistance, I think it's likely that we're probably headed down to this ring. But again, the point of this video is just to say, look, this is a point to open a short. Obviously, if you're long from way down below, just hold it. The next point that you'd want to take profit and get out is when we cross this ring. Otherwise, as long as before this ring, every time we hit it, stay long, stay bullish. But once we cross, that's the point to go short. But if you're scalping, this looks like a point to possibly open a short on 45,800. And this is the chart I was talking about. I did not think it was likely we would get above uh, this area here. We did. So here's what I'm telling you guys. The MACD uh, and the RSI on the daily does look like it have some more upside. So if we do not get rejected from 45,800, if that becomes support, all right, if we get above this point and that becomes support and we push higher, the next point I would watch, it, I mean, this is the next fib channel line above is around 48,500, 48,400. So that's the question. Do we and this this line here is around it's pretty much 45,000 45,000 could come become support but if we do get above again if we get above 45,800 your next key resistance is 48,500 but I do think if you want to chance a short this would be the point to do it but again like I said rather we put we keep going higher and higher and higher that's fine stay bullish but again we can keep moving right up this ring but at any point we cross this ring 
this is where the trajectory changes and this is where you start seeing a lot of downside. But that's just it guys, just want to update you real quick and show you where we're currently at and if you want to chance to short, this might be a point to do it. Again, scalp short, if you're long, stay long, chance it, but again, this is more for swing trading. Uh, that's pretty much it guys, if you want to get access to these live charts, the website is offercrypto.com, links pinned first column description, make sure you email me through the website if you want to get access to Discord, and if you want to sign up to get access to BingX, um, BigGit, or CoinCats, there's links to sign up or pinned first column description. That's it guys, trade safe, trade smart, I'm out.